Atheists have a burden of proof. It's as simple as that. Liar. When talking about the existence of a God, a common misconception is that the only the theist holds the burden of proof. Oh, no, 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 nobody. However, atheists may also bear this responsibility. This idea might surprise some, but it's essential to understand that in any rational discourse, anyone making a claim may need to back it up. The purpose of the series is simple, to explain what burden of proof is and to demonstrate that atheists may have to provide a burden of proof if they want to hold their position irrational by others or at least themselves. By understanding this concept, we can ensure that discussions about the belief and disbelief of the non-existence or existence of a God remains fair and intellectually honest. Understanding the burden of proof is crucial for maintaining rational and productive conversations. Without it, discussions can become one-sided and unbalanced. By acknowledging that both theists and atheists have responsibilities in these discussions, if they choose to have these discussions, we can create a more respectful and intellectually honest dialogue. In this series, I'll try to delve deeper into what burden of proof entails, how it applies to both theists and atheists, why it's a fundamental aspect of rational discourse, and among other things. And I ask you to stay tuned as I explain my reasoning on these concepts, and I try to bring more clarity on this often misunderstood topic. I mean, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Like or dislike, and comment how you feel.